Here we have the front panel taken off this unit. And just for reference, guys, we look at it. The metal on these units is pretty thick, very durable looking metal. We have an M4 AH4044A1000AA. They even put their name on it. I know some manufacturers won't even put their name on their air handler. I don't know if it's shame or what. And they have little diagrams. Our blower motor is a PSC motor, which I kind of like, even though it is, you know, you can almost tell from the fonts they use how Chinese something is. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but when you look at a, a font, and I don't know what I call the font, I'm going to call the font mini split font because they seem to all use a similar style lettering. A little bit different looking transformer. There's our control board for the blower. We have our wiring connections on the outside. I mean, the metal's thick. There's nothing wrong with the metal there. Have the foreign blue coil, as I like to call it, because a lot of those products made overseas have a blue coil. I did take the screws off with this Phillips screwdriver. So I was warned that the screws would not be 5 sixteenths or 1 quarter. So I just brought my Phillips over here. It's our refrigerant line connections. It is a piston coil. It does come with a piston. It says it has 80 in it already. I had to check the sizing. I called for for the outdoor unit. 80 seems like a little big for 3.5 tons and 410A, but I might be wrong. I'll check it again. But that's the inside of the Ameristar. We have our outdoor unit, but I won't be opening that up till we get to the site. But I thought you guys might like get a little quick peek inside and see what it looks like. This cabinet is robust. I think it's 54, 24 deep, 22 wide. So... It'll fill up a closet. 